call uh, in the Pinewood area, 576 for a potential drug sale. Caller reported the selling of street tacos, and if you want some guacamole, you have to go add back. Metro 373 will be in the area. Hey, how you doing, tacos? Would you like a taco? I can't hear you. Oh, sorry, I had my voice box muted. That's okay. What's up? You, want uh, you got a uh, you got chicken or steak? We got chicken, steak, and pork actually. Ooh, I'll take uh, all three, one of each. One of each. Okay. Yeah. So here's the here's the deal. They're actually not that good. Okay. But they're only five bucks. For all of them. Not that good, but they're okay. They're you got cheap. any sides? Uh, I got uh, salsa. Kind of salsa. You got like the guac salsa? No, just regular salsa just here. Regular sal you got any like old rice and El beans? El Paso. Just jarred. I don't make that shit. No? You got any like rice and beans? No. No? No. All right, yeah, just go ahead and let me get those uh, tacos and I'll take just some the salsa. Three and, some, and some old El Paso uh, salsa? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. My people taco night. What? You get the taco shells from the grocery store and the shredded cheese from the grocery store and the Ortega sauce from the grocery store. Okay, hey, here you go. Five dollars. Alrighty. I right, here you go. Hey, thank you so much. And uh, no refunds. Oh, you know what no, you're getting that's, into. That's, that's fine. Okay, have a good day. Hey, you too. You, you can go. No, you, you can go. No, it's not. No, no, no. No, no, no. I, I you know, support oh, the, the, the people in blue. Hmm. I mean, why would I want them then? He's, I mean, they're they're not the right. worst, but. Hey, I'll send you one. Over chat. You don't find anything odd with those, do you? Hmm. No, you don't. Did you bother to check what's in it? Nope. Mmm. Eating it now, don't taste anything. Did you even look to see what was in it? It's a taco. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. it tasted it tasted like a normal, you know, pork taco. Yes. What do you mean mm, for? No, no, You've never had a taco? Not from a truck like that, no. But you've never had taco trucks have the best tacos. Well, you know, sometimes I just make my own. But you can't beat a taco truck taco. Uh, all right. Well, no, you can't beat street tacos. You know, you got your opinion. I got mine. I'll go try it. But all right, so, I don't know. what was up with uh, guacamole? I mean, they didn't have anything but the uh, you know El Paso ta um, taco salsa. So. I honestly, I don't know. I just got a uh, something over the radio. I don't know who said said it. Hey, yeah, me. I think now. Oh, do you? Okay. Um, yeah, they were talking about selling drugs in an alley, so I assume it's gonna be this alley. Okay. When I pulled up, the guy that's in the uh, bandana and the white shirt there was standing up against the wall there, at the corner of the uh, t-shirt store right here. I don't want to point, so. Yeah, um, that's what I saw when I rolled up as well. You know, I'll be right back. We're going to go grab one of them. Okay. Let me try one. They're not great. Oh. Mm, they were all right. I've had better. Maybe, maybe they were like hot on the outside, but cold on the inside. So... I'm 
trying to figure out how we want to play this. I mean, all, all it is is just a, a 911 call. I mean, it could be for anything. Yeah, that's, yeah, we don't really They didn't give any minutes. description outside of guacamole in the alleyway? Yeah, no, that was it. Just said um, the taco guy told her um, she wanted uh, guacamole. Uh, she had to go to the alley, but it wasn't regular guacamole. Okay. So, but it's all I got. I'll, uh, I'll go around the corner, and I'll just kind of pull in the alleyway back there. I'll try to be inconspicuous, see if I see anything. Okay. Alrighty. Hey, sir. Yeah, what's up? How long has your truck been here for? Uh, a couple hours. A couple hours. Have you seen anything strange going on in the alleyway? No. No, I've no one. just been in the truck the whole time. Oh, okay. Alrighty, I was just uh, wanting to make sure. Uh, we got a 911 call about possible drug deals, stuff like that. Wasn't sure if uh, you might have seen people go in an alleyway around here or not. No, I haven't seen anything. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it is Vinewood. Everyone's doing drugs down here. Pretty yeah. sure they're on drugs. Wow. That's rude. I mean, I'm just saying, everyone's doing it, you know? Oh. I feel like you're generalizing me into a category there. No, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, this is a high drug use area. I mean, I feel like South LS is probably worse. Yeah, it's all, it's all the whole city, man. This city's going to shit. You know that better than I do. Yeah. You're not wrong. Alrighty, man. I if I I'll see just, any uh, bad drug dealers, I will definitely let you know. Yeah, just let me know, alright? Okay, I'll call you first. Thank you. Yep. Two nine one two eight five. You know, there is a uh, white minivan with yellow underglow that's parked in the alleyway here. Ten four. Yeah, ten four. Uh, two eight five. You know, under X. There's a bunch of people now in the alley going towards that minivan. A firm. I have eyes on it. I'm on the rooftop above them. I can keep eyes and see what I see go down. Five three three direct. Is that the is that car the one that's going off? The alarm.
be advised, subjects just walked out of the alleyway with a uh, black bag. Metro 285, I am unsure what's going on in the alleyway as I cannot really hear what's being said. All I can see is just an exchange of, so far, one trash bag. I honestly can't tell what's going on here. Like, I have no idea if any illegal activity is going on. Metro Tuna Wellness is the individual down in the street now. Metro 285, yeah, I'm unable to tell what's being exchanged or what's going on in the alleyway as I have no ears in the alleyway to be able to hear. Units, are you guys out front where the taco truck is? advise i'm trying to move closer to uh see if i can get in a better position to hear what's being said so i was just making sure there was nobody in the alleyway that way i can cross it be advised i'm gonna move in closer i'll be off the uh, mic that way they don't be able to hear what I'm saying. Yeah, for it. Uh, Metro Cinema. Um, yeah, 285 Cinema. Uh, we have these three individuals here. We do believe um, it's going to be drugs. Affirm.
373, can you get medical over here at 576 for a potential drug overdose? I believe they found your cruiser. I am in my cruiser. Is your vehicle not still in the uh, parking garage? No, it's not. I went down the alley a little bit further away. Okay, so Metro Zero One, we got confirmation again that is this drug, so I think we're free to roll in. Ten four. I can come up the south end when you guys are ready. In the alley. Yeah, yeah, we're in the alleyway. Subject's walking south. He's in the alleyway. He's on foot running. Going to that parking garage, guys. Please just turn around. Okay. One fifteen. Good job, guys. Okay, sir. Be advised. Uh, Do we have confirmation that the uh, tr taco truck was involved? Uh, negative. You might want to question the um, people who bought tacos there as well. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of people around. So you can uh, ask them. Okay, so people told you that it was definitely him selling stuff? Yeah, it was definitely him. Okay, all right. Officer, you want to go ahead and take this? Can I get a unit back here at 576? There's like six people over here. Hey, from I'm heading your way. Do we need to stop the taco truck or is it good to go? Be advised uh, if you can find PC to stop it, we're going to figure out if it's uh, involved here. Probably. Yeah, one of the subjects admits to consuming multiple drugs. He advise if you just want to follow the taco truck and uh, if you find PC to stop it, we'll confirm. No, you get to me right now? No, 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 no sir. No, Alrighty. He said, he said it goes no. in the my one in the checkered pattern here no. mm -hmm. admitted to doing like multiple drugs. I okay, really so really I, I have a uh, question. Um, who instructed you guys, anybody who came down to the alleyway, to come down to the alleyway? Oh, who was that? Do you remember the guy? Man. Wasn't it the guy inside the truck? Oh, yeah. And he yes. said if you wanted to actually want to walk suit. just to see the guy. Oh, no, he straight up told me drugs. Oh. Okay. Awesome. Um, That's how I do it. Sir, what do you think? I, I would love to eat taco? that taco right, right now. I would eat that taco up. 
Alrighty, um, now, did you partake in the uh, purchasing of the drugs? Uh, I bought some Tylenol. It was in my car. It was more evidence than, uh, it, it's not really a hard, hard drug, so I thought that'd be fine. Okay. I run media, so I, I was getting, you know, evidence. Got a 11 I'm gonna have that taco truck stop. 527 Spanish Ave. Okay. Eastbound. I can hand over. Um, I'm, I don't... If you, um, just want to give me your name. Uh, yeah, it's Charlie McIntosh. Okay. Charlie McIntosh. Oh, okay. okay, and so the subject in the uh, taco truck instructed you that there was drugs in the alleyway that you could purchase? Yeah, and he listed every single drug. Your name's Hector Rodriguez. Okay. Alrighty, Charlie. Um, will you be willing to provide a written statement, a sworn written statement, testifying to that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. 211 25. Alrighty, um, just, if you just want to walk back to me with my car and I'll get a uh, clipboard, you can fill out your statement. Yeah, no problem. Alright. Sorry. Is there a taco truck here when you left? When you rolled up? A what? Taco truck? Yeah, I think he left. Oh, okay. Alrighty, Charlie, if you just want to go ahead and take this and fill out your witness statement, you'll put your name on it, any contact information you have with you, and then you'll write pretty much what happened and uh, the process of what happened here, what, what you went through and what you did. Yeah, I can do that. 211, 285. Be advised, I've got a witness here that stated that the uh, taco driver was involved in the uh, sale of uh, the drugs here. Copy that. I'm going to be at 527 Spanish Ave if I can get a couple, at least one additional over here. I'll, uh, I'll head your way to 11 once I'm done here with the uh, witness. Copy that. He's being compliant at this time. What was that postal again? It'll be 527 Eastbound Spanish Ave. I'll be in Alrighty. Excuse me, is this your car? It is. Okay, I just want to let you know your hood's a little pop. You want me to tow it? No, no, I've got it, man. Thanks. Okay, well, I can tow just the hood if you'd like. No, it's okay. You sure? Yes. Okay. She's uh, she's in, uh, filling out statements. Yes. Uh, did you get statements from them down there? Uh, no, I think someone else was doing that, but they ran off. Okay. Alrighty. I'll go do that. Awesome. There you go. Alrighty. And you said your uh, name was Charlie McIntosh? Yeah, that's it. Okay, just want to make sure I got that. Alrighty, Charlie, I thank you for the uh, cooperation here. Um, yeah, no problem. And uh, we'll pass this along to detectives, prosecutors, and if anything follows up, they will definitely be in contact with you, okay? I appreciate it. Alrighty. Oh God, Bucky. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and get out of here before he kills yeah, you? Yeah, do you mind if I walk down the alley? That's fine. Like, That's fine. The corner. That's fine. Okay. There you go. Was it five seven two? Was he Spanish? I think. I think he was Spanish. In the back of the truck when you're up there, I didn't see anything either. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything either. I don't know if we've got anything to hold him on then. I mean, I've uh, got I mean, a, uh, I've got a written warrant statement that he was uh, knowledgeable about the drug transactions in the alleyway, and he uh, was the one telling people to go back there, and that's what they were there. Okay. okay. Do, you, do you think that's enough to get PC to search the vehicle? I don't know, and uh, I don't I was... know. Well, see, here's the thing, like. I don't even know if it's enough for search incident to arrest. 
Uh, I, I agree with you. I, I think it's yeah. a little bit... Okay, uh, 211, bit 211. Do you have that name for me? Stay by. Um... That's that's I, my problem here is that yeah he's probably technically like a co-conspirator to commit like you know like for drug dealing and drug trafficking and stuff like that but right the problem is you if know, you never you know, one to eleven uh, you know one be a Robert Harrison sorry about that yeah I would say definitely like if there's no money exchanged hand no drugs exchanged hands with him I mean knowing where to buy drugs isn't a crime no. Sure. Right, well, I'm, someone to. I think we're gonna have to let him go. Uh, I guess the big thing is, did so the drugs were in the guac guacamole. I have no idea. Um, I mean, I could ask him if he'll show me the guac, and if he says no, well then I'll have to stop and let him go. But if he says yes, I mean, let me he said he didn't if, care. Let me see if two nine one's got that answer to that question. Yeah. Okay. Zip, two nine one two eight five. Two nine one. Um, was the drugs the guacamole or were the drugs in the guacamole? Do you know the answer? Uh, I believe the drugs were the guacamole. Okay. M4. So the question is... is who, who put the guacamole on the tacos? Well, I, I think you go to the alleyway to get the guac, so... Yeah. Oh, the so only, it wasn't even in the van. The only thing... If we were to want to search the food truck, because he is handling food, he would need a food license. And if his um, food truck isn't up to code, you could seize it that way. But I'm not a health inspector, and we'd need yeah, one was, of those. I was going to say, yeah. we'd have to call down a health inspector to get that squared away. <laughs> I don't know one, personally. Neither do I. Neither do I. All right. Um, I'm, I'm going to get his ID, give it back to him, and then I'm going to ask him. Oh, yeah, just uh, jot down all his information, and... and we'll go from there. Yeah. I got all his information pulled up on the CAD. All right. The yeah. strange one, if you ask me. And you know what? I almost went with a gray charger today, and that would have mm -hmm. looked kind of neat. The black, gray, and white, but... Yeah. Yeah, no points for trying. Problem is, is that, you know, the state of San Andreas isn't like other states, and they don't take... You know, it's harder to get a conspiracy charge to stick. Yeah, for sure. Well, I don't think we have anything on him. No, it's very difficult. Like you said, knowing where you can buy drugs isn't a crime. Like, yeah. you know, maybe you could freaking um, get, you know, co-conspirator, you know, for distributing. But, you know, again, I mean, he's guiding the people to the distributor, but I really don't know if that's enough. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't even know if it's intent to sell at that point. Yeah, I would agree. Well, if he's dealing drugs, we'll, we'll catch him again. Yeah. It's such a gray area to try to nab him on. I mean, I would say that if we really wanted to search the taco truck, the best case scenario would be do a, um, you know, search incident to arrest. Problem is, is that there really isn't a crime. I mean, I do have a sworn statement from a... A woman that was there who stated sure. that he is the one who told them uh, on the to go in there and up what's the uh, update. Two nine one, we ended up uh, we didn't have PC to search the vehicle, so we ended up letting them go. Okay, ten four. I mean, unless we could get a UC operation going, I think uh, there sounds like they got a pretty smooth system going. I mean, they easily. they caught the uh, the driver, the guy that was I seen in the alleyway. I couldn't hear what was being exchanged, and I couldn't see what they were. It was dark, and I couldn't really see anything in and out of the hands. Like, even trying to charge the people that bought the stuff, I mean, it's... I didn't really see an exchange yeah. of stuff because it was so dark, so... So was it the other guy that you that you guys arrested? That was the one. Yeah, he the was the one at the van that I seen. He was getting stuff out of the trunk of the van and handing them stuff, so... Oh, okay, well, at least maybe we got the dealer off the streets. Yeah. yeah. Um, unsure if they were able to seize anything, we could always ask. Yeah, we just need to squeeze him. It sounds like figure out who uh, who's selling him the drugs. Yep. 291285. 
Uh, did you guys find anything in the uh, van? Uh, a bunch of drugs and a weapon. There oh, we perfect. go. There we go. We got the drugs and the dealer. I'd say that's a win. I would too. I, I would mean, agree. Like I said, such a hard a hard sell. You know, it'd be a hard sell to the uh, prosecutor and state attorney's office, and it would probably be a borderline violation of his rights if we just ripped him out and arrested him. Yeah, I mean, we don't want the whole case thrown out because uh, uh, we didn't do Metro anything on the... Metro three. I got a tow truck here trying up. to tow other people's vehicles, and it uh, looks like he's trying to tow my vehicle. Oh, wonderful. Wow. Oh, awesome. Alrighty, guys. I mean, uh, Trying to get some assistance see. here in the alley of 506. All right. Yep, we better go yeah. help yeah, uh, help him direct. since he's clearly there. nothing but a mall cop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see you guys. That was, that was a cold burn, too. Right. <laughs> Mr. Big William. 211. Metro 211 back. Metro 33 in route to the uh, tow incident. Catching bad guys in the act. Live streaming every fact. Riding through the virtual streets. Catching up on all.